Hello everyone, I am Shine and you are watching Civil Engineering Tips channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about well foundation. Well foundation is the well type structure constructed on the ground in a suitable shape to accommodate the structure and then sunk into the ground to the desired depth by excavating the soil below it. Well foundation is also called caisson. The word caisson is derived from the French word word quasi meaning chest or box. Now let's discuss about the characteristics of well foundation. Well foundations are used to provide deep foundation below water monuments and bridges. Well foundations are constructed straight and vertical from bottom to top. Well foundation is a hollow deep foundation. It provides a solid and massive foundation for heavy loads. It is useful where the uplift loads are large. The circular or pointed shape is preferred on the upstream side to minimize the possible impact from large and heavy floating objects. It can be constructed on the dry bed or after making a sand island. Where due to scoring or bearing capacity considerations, foundations are to be taken to greater depth. Now let's discuss about the types of well foundation or caisson. There are three types of well foundation. Box caisson, open caisson and pneumatic caisson. Box caissons are open at top and closed at bottom. They are made of timber, reinforced concrete or steel. These are used where bearing stratum is available at shallow depth and where loads are not heavy. Box caissons are used for weak breakwaters and sea walls. The second type is open caisson. These are open both at top and at the bottom. Made of timber, metal, reinforced concrete or masonry. Used for building and bridge foundation. It may have any shape in plan. Pneumatic caissons. Open caisson with a chamber at bottom for maintaining high air pressure. It is kept dry by forcing out water under pressure. Here you can see an example of well foundation. The famous Taj Mahal at Agra stands on well foundation. Now you will see some common shapes of well. The first one is single circular, twin circular, dump well, double D, twin hexagonal, twin octagonal, rectangular, square, twin rectangular. Now we will discuss the components of well foundation one by one. The first component here is cutting edge. In the figure you can see the cutting edge. Cutting edge is provided to facilitate penetration or sinking into the soil to the desired depth. It should be sharp and strong to resist high stress subjected during sinking process. It is made of an angle iron with or without an additional plate of structural steel. The next component is well curb. Well curb supports the staining. It reduces skin friction during sinking of well. Mainly it is a transition member between the sharp cutting edge and the staining. It is tapered in shape. It is usually made of concrete as it is subjected to severe stresses during sinking. Bottom plug. After completion of well sinking, the bottom of the well is plugged with concrete inside the well. This layer is called concrete seal or bottom plug, which serves as the base for the well foundation. Thus, the superstructure load will be distributed uniformly at the bottom of the well. It also controls the uplift pressure. Staining Staining is nothing but the wall of the foundation. Staining is constructed with brick or stone machinery or with 
plain or reinforced concrete occasionally. The thickness of the staining is made of uniform throughout its depth. It transfers load to the subsoil. It also acts as a cover dam during sinking and provides the weight of sinking. It is the main body of the well which transfers loads to the base of the foundation. It is built over a well curb. Sand filling. The well is dewatered after setting of the bottom plug and is backfilled by sand or excavated material. The sand should be compacted. It is a concrete plug provided over the backfilling inside the well and close it. Above top plug there will be RCC slab that is called well cap. It transmits the loads to the base in uniform manner. It provides the contact between between the well cap and sand filling and helps in transferring the load through sand filling. Well cap Well cap is the RCC slab provided at the top of the staining to transmit the load of the superstructure to the staining. PR is laid over the well cap. It acts as a bearing pad to the pier or abutment. Now we will discuss about the sinking process of well foundation. The first step is to laying of curb. In dry ground, excavate up to 50 cm in river bed and place the cutting edge at required position. If the curb is to be laid under water and depth of water is greater than 5 m, prepare cover dam and lay the curve. If depth of water exceeds 5 meter, build curb in dry ground and float it to the site. The second step of sinking process is construction of well staining. Staining should be built in short height of 1 or 1.5 meter initially and 3 meter after a 6 meter grip length is achieved. Verticality should be maintained. Damaged portion of the staining should be repaired before the next stage is started. It should be cured 48 hours before starting the loading or sinking operation. Now here comes the main part of sinking process that is sinking operation. Excavate material under the inside of the well curb mechanically or manually. Allow the well to remain vertical. As the well sinks deeper, the skin friction on the side increases and weight of wall decreases due to buoyancy. When the wall does not sink, sunk by applying cantilage. If this operation is not sufficient, jet outside the well. Go on adding sections of staining and material from inside is dragged out up to required founding strata. Steps after sinking of well foundation. Outer surface of staining is plastered so as to minimize frictional resistance. Bottom portion up to 3 meter depth is planked with cement concrete. Middle portion with sand and gravel and top portion with cement concrete. RCC well cap is constructed over the well. Tilting and shifting may happen during the sinking of well. The causes of shifting and tilting are non-uniform bearing capacity, obstruction on the side of the wall, sand blowing in wells during sinking. It will cause sudden sinking of well, sudden sinking due to blasting. Irregular casting of staining will cause less friction on the side leads to chances of tilting. Now let's discuss about the remedies of tilting and shifting. The outer surface of the staining and the well curb must be regular and as smooth as possible. The radius of well curb should be kept about 20 to 40 mm larger than the outer radius of the well staining. The cutting edge of the curb should be of uniform thickness and sharpness. The dressing should be done uniformly on the sides. Here we can see some example of rectification of tilting and shifting. The first one is dressing the well. The second one you can see the eccentric loading. 
The third one is the provision of wooden sliver at the bottom of the well. The fourth one is starting of the well. Now we will discuss about the forces that act on well foundation. Dead loads. It includes weight of the superstructure, pyre or abutment plus self weight of the well. Live loads. Load caused due to tractive effect of vehicles on bridges and load due to human beings, furniture, floors and other materials. For road bridges, the live loads may be specified via standard specifications and code of practice for road bridges. Impact loads. The impact loads is the result of live load and shall be considered only during the design of a pyre cap and the bridge set on the abutment. However, for other components of the well, this effect shall be neglected. Wind loads The wind loads shall be seen only on the exposed area in elevation and hence acts laterally on the bridge. Longitudinal forces. Longitudinal forces results from tractive and braking forces. The longitudinal forces depend on the type of vehicles and bearing. These forces get transferred into the substructure via fixed bearings and friction in movable bearings. Earth pressure. The Rankine's theory and Coulomb's theory is utilized to calculate the earth pressure. Seismic forces. Seismic forces are vital when the wells are constructed in seismic zones. Water pressure The water pressure due to water current is acted on the portions of substructure that lies between the water level and the maximum score level. Okay everyone, this is all about well foundation or chasm and this is all for today. If you have any question or if you have any trouble then please comment below or you may use the email address that I have given to description. Till then happy learning, keep practicing, see you in the next video.